Hello and welcome to class. My name is Cindy Shelton and I'll be your instructor for this course. So I wanted to show you how to navigate to our course and get you started and show you how I've designed the course to best be interacted with. I'll probably try to tell you too much in my video so if you need to just uh, pause it and listen to it again that's fine or always as always feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. So to get started um, you can either go to your uh, campus homepage or I'll show you another way to get to our Blackboard shell. But from our homepage, from uh, your campus homepage, you should have a Blackboard Learn option and then courses to see all of your courses you're enrolled in. Also, you can go directly to Blackboard uh, Notice at elearning.kctcs.edu. That will also get you directly there and kind of bypass um, having to go through your homepage. And then your current classes should be there. If you don't see what you're looking for, you use the drop down and find it. We're going to be looking at your um, applied math course, summer course. So when you open it, it looks like this. Uh, it might look slightly different where I'm in the teacher's view, but yours will look very similar. Uh, so down the left hand side, there's really only two tabs that I use in my courses. The one is class collaborate. Now notice when you click on that, you can join our course room. This is our private course room for anyone that's enrolled in the course and me, so we can meet and discuss course material. You can also meet with your fellow students if that's something you find helpful. Go to this course room. It is our space for meeting. You can unmute the um, video, unmute the microphone, and fully interact, sort of like Zoom if you've done Zoom or FaceTime, really. And then I can point the camera at my desk, and I can work problems for you and interact that way. Uh, and you can show your screen, show me whatever you have questions on. So know that's an option, real simple to get there. Uh, just know I won't be there unless you let me know to be there. I don't just live there 24-7, although I, I feel like I'm pretty flexible to meet with students. I'm not just there unless you tell me to be there. So we can arrange a time and meet as needed. Um, also, I'll let you know, you don't have to meet with me. That's uh, It is an asynchronous class, so you can do it completely on uh, your own timing. Uh, there are deadlines, now weekly deadlines to keep up with, but there's no um, required meeting times. You don't have to meet me on a Tuesday, Thursday. You can, we can work that out and that's an option, but you don't have to. You can completely work an, um, asynchronously on this class. Uh, the other uh, option I wanted to show you was the announcement tab. This is just a handy place to see any announcements I've made throughout the class. I will try to uh, make at least one announcement per week to kind of summarize where you should be at, what's up that week, kind of things that I've noticed as I'm watching your work. Uh, so be aware that's where those are housed and you can always go check there and also they're copied to your email. Uh, you'll notice along the top the horizontal view. We're in content, which that's where mainly you'll need to be. I don't use uh, much of these others. I, I do have a, a few discussion boards. Uh, they're not for grades. They're just optional to interact with your classmates. So we do have discussions available. I don't use this gradebook tab. I use this gradebook tab, the MyLab gradebook tab. All of the work you do for grades is in MyLab. It's the program that um, also has your textbook included. You paid a little extra in your tuition that was included so you could just day one have access to that online. So that's where you'll see your grades at any time. That is always updated uh, to current time. Uh, messages, I prefer that you use the email um, option. Email me directly, cindy.shelton at kctcs.edu. You can also find that in the course information, instructor information tab here will tell you all um, best way to contact me. So my email is the best way. This is where I live in the Good Pastor building during a normal semester, but in the summer, you probably won't find me there. Um, and also that's my office number. So again, in the summer, you probably won't find me there, but I'm available uh, on email and also to meet you and collaborate. And I'll ask to hear a little bit about you here in this discussion board and anything you feel comfortable sharing. Navigating the course, that's where I'll house this video to uh, save it there if you need to watch this again. Uh, let's look at your syllabus and calendar. 
So this summer schedule, it's intense. So I just apologize. But also I say it's a good plan for a lot of students find this summer schedule to be magical. It, the magic of it is if it's the only thing you're concentrating on, um, a lot of times students just need to focus on that one subject. And a lot of times math is like that. You just want to get immersed in it. And you can do just um, just knock it out just in that one tighter time period where you're thinking about it every day and you don't have time to really um, lose the information you're gaining. You stay right on the track. So this short time period can be very, um, like I said, magical or, or uh, helpful to students. I have high success rates with my summer classes. So, But if you don't understand that going into it and you haven't carved out some time in your schedule, then you could run into trouble. So just be aware it is an intense four and a half week schedule. So you need to have some time each day or at least most days of your week to uh, commit to this. There's a lot of videos to watch just as if you were in class um, only nor during a normal semester we have 16 weeks here we only have about four four and a half so you do basically four weeks of classes in one week in summer so you need to be able to watch four weeks of classes within one week so that's a lot of um, hours of video watching for one thing you'll watch the lecture videos like you're attending lecture you'll take your own notes and then you'll proceed to your homework and your quizzes you know your assignments so you need to know that's a lot of time it takes time that's that's the big thing just make sure you've carved out that time to commit and then like I said it's sort of helpful because you're only concentrating hopefully on that one class so notice the schedule what's expected each week will be lined out the assignments down this third column for week one that's what's due after the first week um, I have the due dates normally it's on the following Monday Monday midnight so um, that will give you the whole first week plus the weekend to um, get the first assignments in. Watch the videos, do the assignments, and so on. Week two, chapter three, week three, you do algebra, and you'll notice the topics uh, jump. We The first week is problem solving. The second week is this logic um, chapter, which is sometimes a little different for students. You may have may not have seen that until this class. Um, and then we do algebra, which is more normal, I guess, math people think of that as. Then we do a little business math, a little geometry, um, wait a minute, a little, little business math and metric system, that is. And then lastly, we do a little statistics. So a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you have a final exam. It's due the, the um, 16th of June. That's the final exam. By the end of the day for everything to be completed so just be aware of that schedule now all of these dates are posted also in your my lab so I'll show you in a minute uh, so here's the syllabus it tells you how the grading is done any of my course policies so buzz through this as well and be aware of my grading system that grading system is also input to your my lab account um, and all my policies and so on then you'll take a syllabus quiz over this information. So you'll notice here there is a syllabus quiz. You click on that and it takes you out to a new window. This is your My Lab window. And so uh, you can click on your syllabus quiz. You can take this unlimited times until it's a um, deadline. So the highest grade achieved is always calculated into your grade. Let's get back out of that. So anytime you see this little rocket ship, it's going to rocket you out of a Blackboard into a new window, such as the My Labs, you see. Uh, and then some other things to be aware of. Now here is uh, the student links for My Lab. Let's click on that. You'll notice here you can also see all of your assignments rocketed out to that other um, tab. And here's that syllabus quiz. It is due uh, 517, that first week of classes. Um, normally, things are due on Mondays. This is the 22nd. That's a Monday midnight for your first unit. Chapter 1, Quiz 1, 5, 6, Quiz 2. That's your first unit, week 1 material and the due date. But the, the syllabus quiz is due early. I mean, why not just take that first thing? Just get that first day. Let's all get that syllabus quiz done. That'll make me happier to know that you've got a good start and you're aware of the course um, pace and policies. Uh, then the, the text, the e-text, there's your textbook to refer to. 
and your grade book is there as well as I have that also as a standalone so it's in two places but that's where you'll see your grade at any point during the semester then here's your week week by week week one has a part one and a part two uh, the unit problem solving every unit has an overview kind of introducing that's me and those wild eyes oh my goodness but um, <laughs> you know I was too lazy to re-record it and try not to look like that so anyway I hope that's okay but um, anyway I introduced the unit to you and and what's some good things uh, why you would need to know this and all of this class is really it's applied math so applicable math and um, hopefully you'll enjoy that about it. I think it's such a good class to give you kind of a base overview of so many different math topics. Um, my other class I teach is all algebra and it's harder to do in that class so this class is very application based and I hope you'll like that about it. I, I appreciate any feedback you have. So we have a start and then your notes and videos. There's notes you can download here and open these up and my videos are designed to go right along with these notes um, and if you had me in person in class I would hand these notes out in class and I would lecture over it the same as you see here so you're really getting that in-person experience um, you know on your own time uh, so the video lectures that go along with each one also at the bottom I have some sample problems uh, sometimes you'll see some additional ones but the official like here's your content you can see stops here and then here's the homework. The homework starts. You can rock it out to each homework assignment. And whenever you open a problem, for example, you get a certain amount of questions. You can view the textbook for that section. You can, uh, some have even more options like view an example or help me solve this. You'll see along the way. This Ask My Instructor sends a direct email to me and says, I'm having trouble with question one. That way I know your name. It sends it to my email and that tells me this is one we need to follow up on so use that as needed be sure to do all the other uh, diligence due diligence before you click that you know try make sure you watch the videos make sure you view the examples and then if you need me then we need to talk and we need to see if there's another way we can look at it or something I can do to help um, so you do your homework assignments take your quiz and then you always have a wrap-up to let you know you finished what the due date is so that's part one. Here's week one. See, it's a lot. But week one also has a part two. Um, a couple of things to do there. Then we go to week two. Week three is algebra and so on and so forth. You will take two major exams in this course. Uh, let's see. Week four. During week four, you will take a midterm exam. I do not require proctoring in this class. Uh, you will be able to take those on your um on your own trusting you to do it as if you were on campus and more information about that to follow but you do take a midterm exam to, to wrap up week one and two and part of three and then you finish up the course and take a final exam that wraps up everything so it's all comprehensive in the final exam so keep good notes and um, also none, none of these exams require a trip to campus you'll be able to take these uh, from your home so there are no required trips to campus for proctoring um, okay and I think that's everything I wanted to tell you right now if you think of anything I'm sure there's something I forgot to mention if you think of any questions that you have know that I am a live real person here that really wants to see you be successful in this course and uh, I wish you all the best and I hope you have a great summer course best wishes